interface relationships. See how the variables that describe acids and bases are all related. So let's start with the acid and then we'll do the base next. If we have an acid strength, say going to the right, we want to see how K, DOH, BH, all that stuff relates to acid strength. Okay? So let's try KA. That's the KC for K. As the acid gets stronger, does K increase or decrease? Yeah. K will increase. It's meaning that the acid is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So as acid strength increases, Ka will also increase. Okay, now let's do another common one. PKA. So our PKA is minus log of the Ka. So in this case, the PKA, whenever you have a negative log or something, it, it basically flips the scale. So as Ka is going up, PKA is going down. So it's the opposite. So a large Ka, 10,000, means it's a strong acid. But a small PKA means it's a strong acid. So uh, 0.1 for a PKA or 0.2, those are strong acids. Does that make sense? Versus a K PKA of 8 or something. So small PKAs mean strong acid. Okay, how about, here's hopefully a somewhat easier one, the H3 plus, the H plus or H3O plus concentration. As acid strength goes up, does that go up or down? It does go up, yeah. So you'll find more of this in solution as the acid gets stronger. Or that's the definition of an acid. It gives more of the H plus. So that means it's a strong acid. Okay, then one more. pH. Remember pH is negative log of the H plus. So as, PA, as acid strength goes up, what's going to happen to the pH? It's going to drop, just like the pKa is going to drop. And remember, pH, a good acid, is real close to zero. So acid can be a pH from zero to seven. But the stronger the acid, the closer to zero. In fact, we could even have negative pHs. So you can go below zero for really strong acids. Okay. That's uh, for acids. Is that okay, Minnie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. How is pKa different from pH? Is, like, are they the same? These two, pKa and pH? Yeah. They're different. pH is based on concentration. So knowing the concentra original concentration, say, of the acid, will change pH. So pH is very changeable based on the concentration. PKA or KA does not change based on concentration. So they're constant. So when you see in a table listed acid strengths, they're going to list either the KA or PKA or both. They will not list the H plus or the pH because those things change based on whatever the concentration is. Okay, so these are the things you'll see tabulated. Good. Good, so again, Ka is a constant, pKa is a constant for any acid, but these concentrations or the pH will change for any acid based on the concentration. Let's do the same for base strength. So if I had a long page, I'd put this all underneath, but I don't. So I'm going to do it like this. Base strength. So I'm doing it opposite the acid strength, meaning if the acid, as it gets stronger and stronger, the conjugate base will get weaker and weaker. So they're kind of opposites of each other, if you will. So as the base strength goes up, what will happen to the Kb? Yeah, it's going to go with base strength. So Kb is a measure of the base strength, just like you were asking, this is a constant, not going to change for any given base. So P 
EKB, is that going to be the same or opposite of KB? It's going to be the opposite. So remember, this is minus log of KB. Uh, the next one of interest is the OH minus concentration. That's the hydroxide concentration from the Arrhenius definition of the acid. Uh, as base strength goes up, this is going to go up. Just like as acid strength went up, the H plus concentration went up. This is, again, a direct measure of it, but you're not going to see this tabulated because it's based on a concentration. So it's not constant for every base. Likewise, we have the pOH. The pOH, because it's a minus log of OH, I'll write that down, minus log of OH, because it's a minus log, it's the opposite of the OH concentration. Or in other words, pOH goes from 7 to 14. The closer you get to 14, the stronger the base. And so you'll have a hot uh, for pH. For pOH, the, the strength goes from 0 to 7, being basic. Okay? So if you're measuring pH for a base, you're getting from 7 to 14. If you're measuring the pOH, it's going to go from 0 to 14. 